ನಾನಿರುವುದೇ ನಿಮಗಾಗಿ ನಾನಿರುವುದೇ ನಿಮಗಾಗಿ ನಾಡಿರುವುದು ನಮಗಾಗಿ ಕಣ್ಣೀರೇಕೆ ಕುಟಿಯುತ್ತಿರೇಕೆ my extra life it's not a good it's a very bad nobody likes my lifestyle when i was living in a small age i want to become a big mafia i should kill many people and i want to become a big don in my place i was living like a dog in the street in the bus stand in the railway station i lived like a beggars i lived like a street dog My name is Raja my familiar name is Auto Raja I used to drive auto rickshaw in city I born in Bangalore city I brought up in Bangalore city my father my mother they came from Tamil Nadu 40 years before and they settled here I studied only just a third grade then i lost my education because of the bad company and because of the crime robbing stealing and uh, doing a lot of wrong thing to the society and to my family hi hello namaskar i am fabrik rajiv i am educated in akash family everything to nanu do much video tell me madalakade vandena jothe ivathira business sutti ena pandante namma auto raja dani avaru namma auto raja tamade aashupalli avara kayyarane avaru aushadiyana ellarigu Bangalore, Bangalore, Mama Bangalore. In Asia, one of the fast developed city is a Bangalore. Very strong hub for the technological and for the IT. I love my Bangalore city. In one of the Mukha, Mama Bangalore is there. At the end of the day, thousands of lakhs of homeless people, destitute people still living in Bangalore city. people are busy 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 it job or a company or they can't take her such people they can't focus their mind their heart for the poor and needy people but god has chosen me to serve such people homeless beggars sick people handicapped people psycho depression such people to rescue from the street god has blessed me as a instrument first first learning to rob i rob in my my father pant i took a money from there it's grown i rob my mummy mangal chotram and i sell and i drink with my friends i enjoy my life with my friends but i don't bother about my family in the school also i robbed 7000 rupees i'll go with my friends and robbing the bicycles we'll rob the steels and uh, vessels and uh, make money and we we try to go to the cinema and watch the movies i has a little friends criminal fellows when i had a relationship with them and my mind also turned to them and i i jumped to the criminal activities and slowly slowly it's grown and i started to do a lot of wrong things when i was in 16 to 17 years
I came to know about Jesus Christ when I was in the school. After many years, I understood my parents was praying to Jesus, but I never prayed to him. I want to become a big mafia. I want to become a big person in the society. I should kill many people and I want to become a big dawn in my place. I won't believe anything. I don't have a faith in God. I don't believe any gods and all. I'm a very short temper. Uh, suddenly I'll get uh, angry violently. I'll become like a wild. Uh, if something be a wrong in, my, in front of my eyes, I try to harm them and I'll beat them. I do something because don't have a compassion, a passion to me. No mercy in my life. Very, very angry. Once my own brother tried to harm me and uh, tried to beat me, then I beat him, I punched him. Then I finally I took his knife. I put uh, one hit him in his leg and uh, one hit him in his hand. Then uh, bleeding started and bleeding is going like this. Because even though that time I don't have a mercy, very, very violent and very, very tough heart person. My father used to tell, when you born, I went to see the tarot man. That person, tarot man has told, you squeeze his neck and kill him because when he grow big, then he'll do a lot of crime things. My mother and my father, every day they used to curse me they never show their love to change my life. Or even my father, even he never hugged me one day. He never kissed me one day. I can't get a, even a love, a little love from my parents. One day, my parents they told strictly, don't come to home, go and die somewhere. If somebody kill you, it's a good for us, we'll be happy. We don't bother, we hate you, we don't want you. Then finally, with a broken heart, I came to street, I slept on the street, I walked on the street, I lived on the street like a beggar, like a street dog. This is my life. I was become a hopeless, hopeless because of the crime, because of the bad company. One day, the police came, he knows me and just he catch me he put me to the police station, he cased the uh, file and he put me in the jail. The prison life is a tragedy life. It's hard to say that. The jail, the life is, it's a very different, no hygienic, no clean, that room will be dirty, the bathroom, toilet will be dirty. Night time, you don't have a good sleep in the prison. Then uh, beating and kicking and uh, we got a lot of pain and tragedies. In the night time, the big crime people, rape case or other cases, they will misuse, abuse the extras. There's nobody to help us. I became a sick person, I, heavy temperature. I couldn't swallow anything, my tongue, my lips, everything was dried. I cried with my tears. There is a, nobody to give a tablet for me, single. I couldn't get one tablet there. If you ask any medicine, they will kick us, they will beat us in the jail. That time I was totally, I lost my hope. Maybe I could have died in this place. At the same time, inside my heart, why you can call God? Why now you can depend on God? 
देर इज नो बडी टू हेल्प अस I was crying and weeping and I closed my eyes I just connect my heart to the heavenly father Jesus be mercy upon me I made a mistake I made a sin forgive me I want to come out from the prison if you do this God I will serve you I will do any work for you please take me out from the prison that time I just I closed my eyes and I'm praying blood of Jesus heal me blood of Jesus heal me I believe you God heal me after one hour my shirt pant was just totally wet God answer my prayer after my sweating gone immediately my fever was gone my parents came and they paid a fine in the court and they brought me out i fall in my parents feet this is my last chance forgive me i won't give a trouble for your people they gave me a 1000 rupees and then i got a license to drive auto rickshaw car in the city many years first pass then uh, when i driving the auto rickshaw in the street unexpectedly my eye is to pull to watch lot of people lying on the road dying on the road with a pathetic condition with a serious condition the naked hungry thirsty with the sick people with flies are sitting on the face the mentally challenged and aged people like hiv cancer tb all kind of disease people i saw in the street then i was thinking i heard about mother teresa i heard about her story she served the poor and needy i used to think in my heart god can i do like her god give me a strength give me a wisdom and knowledge to serve these people i took a strong decision lord be with me i will take these people to my home i will serve these people and i need your blessing i need your grace started to pick a people from the street to my home where my father is to park motorcycle from there i started a three people and four people my parents started to uh, make me a problem and he's become a mad fellow again he's doing a mad job and he's bringing mad people to my home then finally i pray to god i told god i want a small house can you help me i want to shift this people to for the new place there is no support from my family and neighbors people and all and uh, nobody is supporting me and with the faith i got a small rent house as a 13 people there there again my journey was started lot of media increased me lot of electronic media and uh, print media they supported me the gen- just a normal auto rickshaw driver is doing a noble service then india campus crusade came and they supported me a uh, often acre land 4000 square feet building 
to care these people. Then I started with the 50 people there and the journey was gone. And step by step by step by, God has blessed. Today, we have a, a four branches in Bangalore city. We have a 800 people in my place. Three times we are feeding them medical care, shelter, everything, doctors, everything we are providing here. <laughs> Here I was staying on rent in Banaswadi area and something affected me and I was on street for one month. It was black magic I believe. I did not know this is an NGO and uh, I was sitting like all the other destitute people here. I was taking psychiatric tablet then slowly Otto Raja Daddy every day he saw me and when I was not sleeping in the night he used to come and make me to sleep. Since every day he is following me, he knows me that I am here. Today, I'm a, a merciful person and a humble person because Jesus was in my heart. He saved my life. He showed me a new life for me. Now I'm giving a new life for the homeless people, rejected people from the society and from the street. We help them, we serve them, and we do all kind of charity for the dying people. We found a trust and we made a new ARC mission of India. The, there's a project, name is the Home of Hope. We should give a hope for the homeless. We should give a hope for the sick people. We should give a hope for the dying destitute. That's the thing, we made a project for the people, Home of Hope. I don't have any financial aids from the uh, government side. Only from the donations we run by faith in God. And God will send some people and they will join the hands with me and they will support. Only by kind donation we run this home of hope. In Gracie, I daddy to to my Daddy when the Kadul promised Panare, uh pulling loader and Adigama Nesikinone, in Alverke and Abdita and Nesikira. Twenty-five years before uh, when I started this mission, uh, I got a call. Uh, somebody came here and uh, uh, they, I they gave a baby, three years baby. She she has a tumor and uh, she can't close her eyes. And uh, I was thinking she, she died or she is alive. That time, I look her and uh, she gave a beautiful smile. That smile, I surrendered myself to God and I committed that time, I pray to God, Lord, I want to care this child better than my children. Daddy, 
ಇವಾಗ ಅವ್ರ ಕಣ್ಣಿಂದ ಅವರ ಸ್ವಇಚ್ಛೆಯಿಂದ ಅವರ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಿಂದ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಔಷಧಿಯನ್ನ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಬಿ ರೆಸ್ಕ್ಯೂಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟು ಏಟ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಗೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ರನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ಫೋರ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದೇ ಗೌನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ನಿಯರ್ ನೈನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದೇ ಡೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಗ್ನಿಟಿ ಫೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಏಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ತ್ರೀ ಟೈಮ್ ಮೀಲ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈಸಿ ಜಾಬ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ನೆವರ್ ಮಿಸ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಮೀಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೈ ಪೀಪಲ್ I don't know how I changed my life. How it's a great transformation came in my life means because of Jesus Christ. If he never encounter me, if he never chosen me for this purpose, I could have died before that. Somebody could have killed me, somebody could have encounter me because such a wrong way I was such a criminal uh, things i was doing in the society i believed him i tried to follow him just the great transformation came in my life because of the jesus christ i saw the true love through jesus christ god has a plan for me god has a plan in my life he changed he changed my life and he chosen me for this for the wonderful service he chosen me as a instrument for his purpose now i become a servant for him i become a child for the jesus christ but because of his grace and his mercy Are you searching for purpose of life? <coughs> Discover your true identity. Stay tuned to Shalom World.